here's the planting rig. What do we have left in here? 150 gallons, maybe? Well, they go for a little bit yet before we do a fill. It's kind of intensive. We mix in some uh, fertilizer with the 32. We're mixing some in fungicide with the starter. Like the uh, mad scientist operation, but hopefully it all pays off. We're not all done with this field. We're gonna leave this side hill. So this is like 42, 45 acres that I just got done here. Got a 40 done this morning. Um, I think I one more like 45, 42 left, something like that, up the road. And then all the corn acres will be worked. Um, the neighboring uh, food, produce, whatever you want to call it, asked if we'd come in and work up some fields for their sweet corn, tomatoes, I don't know, whatever. I said sure, so I got folded up and go around the corner there. So we just got folded up here. Um, I wanted just to tell a quick story, not for a pat on the back, but to challenge everybody that's watching this. Um, there was a guy watching the tree line, and uh, it, we kind of farmed right up to his property, bought the house a couple years ago. I stopped to talk to him, because um, you can kind of tell when somebody wants to talk to you versus just watching your work fields. And uh, there was a pretty major language barrier between us, but uh, you know, I was trying to figure out if he wanted us to farm this uh, quarter acre that we used to, or if he wanted it worked for his garden again, or what he exactly wanted. And uh, it took us some time, but we figured out, or I figured out that uh, he wanted that work done so he could plant his garden again. And he was very concerned at you know, how much I wanted to do that for him. And uh, again, not a pat on the back to challenge. If you have the ability, and we were right there, I've already folded out. Um, yeah, it took me 20 minutes because I had to get out and he's like, oh, go a little farther. And we went a little farther and just a little bit more to the, to the grass. So it took me 20 minutes maybe to do this quarter acre and talk to him for a little bit and it made his day. So yeah, not a pat on the back. Just uh, if you can do something for somebody and uh, kind of restore faith in everyone because our society is so hung up on money right now. And uh, if you can help somebody and just do the neighborly thing, it's the right thing. On to the next one, let's go work down that food produce stuff and then we'll go do our last 45 acres. Lots of turning down here in this produce farm here. But that's okay, we're getting it. See, there's a lot of narrow little strips and we're just in this little triangle right now. But uh, it's looking real nice. He's happy. And this is, uh, it's fun. It's fun to do different fields. But holy smokes, is it, uh, I thought some of our fields were hard to get this thing navigated around, but this is, uh, this is next level that. We're making quick work of it. It's a pretty wicked hill here. He's wrapping this field up. Ooh, I'm winded. This hill trying to grab a few rocks. And he is scooting right along. And that spot is wet. I kind of warned him, but looks like he's going to hit it about perfect where his wings are going to go through there and not the tractor. Watching these planters go, it's really impressive. All the electronics and everything that's on it. We're running those smart firmers to adjust our seed rate based on the organic matter and other uh, things of the soil as it's going along live. You make makes those changes without having to have a prescription for the field, so that's really neat. Got my uh, bed hair still from working overnights last night. It's the afternoon now, but putting on a lot of li different liquids, side dressing. It gets to be a lot with the planter, but uh, we think it's worth it. And uh, it's just quite the advanced rig. It's always amazing to watch it go across the field. Zip it along. It might be hard to see on camera. This would be the seed trench and then uh, here would be one of the uh, side dress rigs and then the other. Some of them we have them flipped on which side of the bracket they're on because we were plugging up with mud years ago. So, you know, we can look down here and check for a uh, 
There we are right there. There's our corn seed. And then this would be the trench that's kind of cut for the uh, 32 and then the 1034 O is mixed in with it. And then uh, there's still some starter in furrow as well. So it's a dual pump, but we could check our spacing here too. I'm gonna probably do that off camera and just see how it's going. So it looks good. You can see our seeds there, they're treated. That's why they're a different color. <clears throat> Try to keep them as healthy as they can be to get their good start. I'm gonna race them back, get ahead of them, get the stuff ready so you can just hook up and we'll get filled. And then the neighbors gotta come and pull in next to us and show us up. Holy smokes. 224 row rigs, they're gonna make quick work of this field. Planter should be here soon, just gonna make sure all the pumps are set up and ready to go. Safety glasses, kinda got a weird frame on them because I'm an idiot and uh, didn't wear them the other night. And I've dumped how many jugs of uh, chemical? And you listen to the classes and they tell you to wear glasses and gloves and whatnot. And it splashed just right, went in my eye, burned. Luckily I was right in front of the house, ran inside, flushed my eyes and eye drops for a couple hours and I'm fine. But lesson learned, safety glasses, gloves, protective equipment, wear it people. I know we get in a rush, but wear the stuff. Planter refilled on the way to the last uh, major field that we had, maybe 15 more acres after that. Still sloshed around pretty good in there. Got these two valves going to the uh, pump over there now. You can see it's a dual riser. One on the left is the 32 that's side dressing. And then the uh, one on the right is the one that goes in furrow. So there's the side dress yetters if you're new to the channel. And there's a smart firmer that's blinking. There's three of those on the planter as well to help make those decisions based on the soil type that we're in. A couple sprinkles actually looking on the radar. It's like halfway past us. And I don't even know if you can see the sprinkles on my t-shirt anymore. And actually there's the sunshine for the evening clearing back up. So. So some of you are probably wondering why the cart's set up like that. The back wheels follow the outer duels, front wheels follow the inner duels. And we do that for weight distribution if you if you weren't aware or if you were curious why the cart looks funny like that. That path was pretty bumpy. So we're gonna run the rows the best we can here with my truck to follow the fertilizer cart tracks. So, but uh, there he goes. It's a pretty cool view of town right where he's at. And I really can't get it on camera because of the trees. I am out of uh, here, I need to go shower change and go to work for the night so just a short afternoon just drone footage and uh, helped the planter refill and escorting them through town not working any more ground because of the rain tomorrow and we need to kind of get set up to plant beans yet so corn's in three big days so that's that so i guess with that you guys have a good one Ooh. be safe as always and we'll check you later